18 to 8 graders, here's what to expect. Today we have with us an experienced science curriculum writer, Ms. Jody, who will share with us what a primary 4 student will be learning for science in February. So Jody, what are they learning in this month? Okay, for this month, uh, school would still be teaching on matter, but they will be focusing on properties of solid, liquid and gas. Okay, can you share with us the key concepts? Okay, for the key concepts in this topic, they have to remember uh, or memorize three properties for each state and the properties is regarding definite shape, definite volume and compressibility. And they also have to remember that volume actually refers to the amount of space that is being occupied by matter and compressibility is actually referring to ability to occupy a smaller space. Okay, so can you tell us some of the common misconceptions that students have? Okay, the common misconceptions would be uh, students tend to treat an empty container or a bottle as if there is nothing inside but there's actually a matter inside and air is actually inside. Okay, now let's move on to the commonly tested questions. Okay, for commonly tested questions, there will be questions that requires them to calculate volumes of objects. There will also be questions involving properties of different matter and they have to use them to use it to explain. So if you look at this example, alright, uh, for this, they have to actually identify that there are actually empty spaces between the marbles itself and when water have no definite shape, actually at, uh, is being poured into, it can flow in and displace the air from these places there. And if we were to look at another example, okay, which the, the property tested here in this question would be matter occupies space. So firstly, students have to identify that air is present in the bottle, in the empty space, and if air is unable to escape, uh, oil or other forms of liquid or, matter, uh, liquid or matter is unable to enter the bottle. Okay, so you have one, we have one more question to go through. There is the calculations of different volumes. Yes, for this, if you were to look at the, the next question, which is shown, all right, it actually shows that it requires a student to actually either to calculate, use mathematical calculations to find the volume of different types of matter. In this case, you have to find the volume of each bubble. Okay, so I hope this sharing is very valuable to you. And if you require more help, do click on the link below to get access to this concise and informative cheat sheet for matter. Thank you very much. To watch more of such videos and information to help your child improve and learn ahead of others in school, visit our website www.agrader.sg, click on this button, fill in your email address and receive all these useful videos straight in your inbox for free as well as the latest in promotions so that you don't lose out on great deals with A-Grader Learning Centre.